know it's dun, in there because we've unlocked it dun. a few times now. That's what we've done. Yep. Bye. Bye. Oh man, Let me drink. Mmm. Ready, bitches. Ready. Yep. You guys good? Yeah. Yep. It's going well. Anything? No, anything to change? Um, anything? The only thing I would suggest possibly is, um, don't wait around so much. Like okay. Well, I mean, you sense. guys were, you know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, want just to keep on playing. Just get, yeah. we we'll be we'll be fucking around either way. So. Okay. Yep. Um, so I'm just before we get started here, I'm just going to pull up the spells on my phone here. Good idea. Only when um, Matt's when Matt's narrating the the text, I guess. Yeah. Be sitting through, but. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Yeah. And and I appreciate you keeping it on. All right. Okay. I'm good to go here. So whenever you gents are ready. I'm good to go. Seventeen and a quarter. All right. Let's do it. Uh, welcome back to King's Quest 3 on Sierra Saturday. Just in case you missed it <laughs> seven or eight episodes ago. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sierra Saturday. It's a lovely Saturday, maybe. Actually, it's probably the dead of winter right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I guess we we might even be sneaking close to uh, to to the the holidays. Yeah, it is prior to Halloween while we are recording this, guys. Yeah, we don't know. We don't. We don't even mm. know. Anyway. Yeah. Welcome back. Go ahead. Open that. <laughs> open that cabinet. Woo! Bam! <clears throat> the magic wand. That's right, we got the magic one before. Yeah, we have to keep putting it back in the cabinet, though, because yeah, in the event that... It is high-end Manan... contraband. Yeah, it... mm. if, if he even knows that it's gone, then if he catches us, we're dead. So, yep. so we're going to go back to the, uh, to the laboratory below. Do it. Do it. Pull that book. Move it around. Find the lever. Man, I, I, it, it, there's going to be shortcuts for this. Wouldn't that be nice? A oh, trap right. door opens. Bloody, bloody, blah. And now we blah. get to see how much of a dick the cat's going to be, huh? Yep. And he is. That's one. Ah, uh, what a douche. What a douche. <laughs> two? Here, two. Three. <laughs> oh. Oh. And, and gone. Cat, cat's feeling like he's not getting enough screen time, so he's like, eh, "I'm gonna be <laughs> here, damn it!" Right down into the basement. Down, down, down. down. It feels like it would not be very um, earthquake proof. Same. Oh hell's no! It's no, probably no. not up to code. Nobody's really no. thinking of earthquakes, really, when you're a wizard. You know, it's one of those things that you don't really consider. He's probably causing them. Well, there. I mean, when when you can teleport at, at, at a moment's notice, it's not really a at concern a now, is it? Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, he obviously doesn't pay that much attention to the shit that's inside his house. He could lose his wand. That would be tragic. Y'all ready, ready for this? I'm all ready, ready for this. For this. I'm sorry, All right. I, I can't be some here magic, to, guys. I, I can't be there to help you with your spell this time, so It's okay. I got uh I think I got it under control here. Turn yeah, to page it. E <laughs> <laughs> Right. The sorcery of old. Uh, Let's do right. this shit. Let's do it. Yeah, you know you have to be careful, blah 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 blah. Yeah. yeah. Oh here it goes. Alright, we ready? Yeah. Put fur in bowl. You put the tuft of dog fur in this clay bowl. 
put reptile skin bowl <laughs> in bowl. <laughs> you put the dried snake skin in the clay bowl. Add spoon of powdered fish bone. <laughs> There's a big difference between powdered you fish and powdered fish bone. Full of fish bone it's like you're making miso soup. Bowl. <laughs> you put thimbleful of dew in bowl. You pour the thimbleful of dew into the clay bowl. Mix with hands. You knead the ingredients in the clay bowl with your hands. It turns into a stiff, dough-like substance. Nice, nice. Making another gross cookie. Separate mixture into two pieces. You grasp the doughy mixture in the bowl and divide it into two pieces. Goulet. Mm. Thinking of all the ingredients in this, this cannot feel nice. It does not. I do no. not imagine it feels overly doughy. No. Put dough pieces into your ears. Oh, gross! <laughs> <laughs> it's full of like Very dog hair and shit. Gently. Place the two pieces of dough into your ears and pull your hair down over them. You prepare to recite the magic magical incantation. Yeah, well, dry heaving because you've got dog hair in your ears. <laughs> Feather of fowl and bone of fish. <laughs> Molded <laughs> together in this dish. Give me wisdom to understand. Creatures of air, sea, and land. Oh, uh, yeah. Wave magic wound. You wave the magic wand over your dough filled ears. Done. Oh, yeah. Done, done. Not bad, yeah. not bad. We did it, we did it. Alrighty, so we got about, we got another ten minutes, so let's let's bo blow through another couple of these. Let's I do like it. I like the sound of that. Oh. oh. We, we got nothing else to do. We got nothing to do. Let's make another spell or two. We were so, oh. we were so, last time we did this, we were so nervous, but... Yeah, this time, I mean, we're it's just... not so bad. I mean, the music is still fucking jarring, but the, uh... <laughs> The whole process, we're, we're, we're streamlining it. We're getting better at magic. Also, you have to understand, exactly. like, when, when Andrew and I played this last time... Keep, yeah, you, you, keep, you can keep going. I'm, the, I'm just done. Okay. With the trembling hands, blah. Sorcery of old, blah. Um, you know, spelling was not exactly your, you know... We were good at spelling, but, but we were kids, right? All yeah, right. yeah. Let's do it. What page are we going to? We're on page seven, so right now we are making. Oh, um, j just in case the last one wasn't terribly obvious, that was the last spell was to uh, be able to understand uh, creatures talking, which will be which will be useful later on. Right. Um, and also this. Uh, so this next spell that we're doing is uh, teleportation at random. So uh, we're going to be at the end. We're yeah. So we're going to be left with a stone that when we rub it, it will take us to who the hell knows where. All right. Okay. Right on. <laughs> Which will also uh, somehow be beneficial later on. All right, all right. I'm down. Yeah. I'm on board. Let's get this shit done. Let's do it. Grind spoon of salt in mortar. You place a spoonful of the coarse salt grains in the mortar. Then, using the stone pestle, you grind the salt until it is very fine. And I mean mm -hmm. super fine. She's super fine. Super fine! Grind <laughs> mistletoe and mortar. Very poisonous. Placing the dried sprig of mistletoe in the stone mortar, you crush it with the pestle. <laughs> it's oddly satisfying. Soon you have a crushed mixture of salt and mistletoe in the mortar. 
You remove the pestle and lay it aside. Uh... Rub stone and mixture. You place the beautiful amber stone in the stone mortar. Very carefully, so as not to miss a single spot, you rub the amber stone around the mixture of ground salt and mistletoe. When you have finished, you remove the amber stone and discard the remaining powder down your throat. In your pants. Surprisingly, not of the mistletoe, but just of, uh, of hypersalination. <laughs> Kiss stone cold sea. <laughs> <laughs> Smack. Oh shit, magic words. With this kiss, I thee wed. So I thee impart power most dear to my heart. I could have gone either way. Take me now from this place. Hither. To another place. Far thither. Uh, somebody wanted really badly to use hither and thither in this game. <laughs> Wave magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the encrusted amber stone. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but an amber stone yep. doesn't have a lot of moisture. Why? How did the salt and mistletoe get encrusted on it? Next spell. <laughs> Ask no questions. <laughs> If the spell tells you to kiss no, Steve Austin, just, you do it. It's just dusty. <laughs> Steve Austin's just standing there looking at you, con like, really concerned. He's like, is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? <laughs> He's checking his breath. He's got some binoculars. Come on, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> I see the mortar and pestle. It's huge. Okay, so we got, uh, yeah, about nine minutes. We got um, time for another one, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go yeah. on to the next one. So this next spell is... Um, Do you want to save, sleepy... though, just in case? Oh, excellent point. Not to interrupt, but I, I think it might be a good idea. Lord knows. <laughs> wakey, wakey. It... Gone. Of Stone course. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? It was violated. Nice. I don't know. Maybe you enjoyed it. You don't know. It's possible. <laughs> You don't know. He just he yeah, he doesn't necessarily feel violated, but he feels a little underwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair I mean, enough. This was going to be life changing, but it wasn't. How old is Gwydion? Gwydion? Seventeen. Oh, geez, Seventeen, there you go. Yeah. Sixteen, seventeen. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna be making some sleep powder now. I love slee powder. Trembling hands, bloody blue, bookity book. Mm-hmm. Grind ac acorns in mortar. Putting the dried acorns into the stone mortar, you use the pestle to grind them into a rough acorn powder. Powder. Put acorn powder in face bowl. Bowl. In bowl. Turning the heavy stone mortar upside down, you carefully pour the acorn powder into your face, the bowl, and then return the mortar to the table. <laughs> Put nightshade juice in bowl. You very carefully pour a cupful of nightshade juice into the clay bowl so as not to spill a single drop. There is now an ugly brown mealy liquid mixture in the bowl. Mm. Yum. Stir mixture with spoon. You gently stir the unappetizing liquid. Light charcoal brazier. Making sure there is fresh charcoal in the brazier. There's a small supply here. 
You light it with the flint. Soon the brazier is hot. 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 Heat mixture on the brazier. You gingerly place the clay bowl of ugly brown liquid on the charcoal brazier. Soon the hot brazier brings the mixture to a bubble, and then a boil, releasing a bitter-smelling steam. Ah. You let it boil until the nightshade juice is nearly gone, then remove it from the brazier. Spread mixture on toast. Table. <laughs> 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 That's death! <laughs> you pour the bowl's contents onto the oaken table and spread the hot, sticky mixture over the tabletop. In a few minutes, it has dried to a very crumbly, coarse sleeping powder. Oh shit. Oh shiznit? Acorn powder ground so fine. <laughs> D I I O. <laughs> <laughs> Nightshade juice like better wine. E I E I O. <laughs> Silently in darkness you creep. Yeah, 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 yeah. The sun is getting darker. To bring a soporific sleep. E I E I O. E I E I O. <laughs> Wave magic wand. You pass the magic wand over the table. Pit. Put sleep powder in pooch. Pouch. Pouch. You untie the small leather pouch, scooping the leather, the powder from the table. Fuck. It's <laughs> <laughs> fine. <laughs> Fuck mine. Fucked it up. Fucked okay, up. so we got about six minutes. Um, yeah, do you okay. think we have time for another spell? How many more spells we are do, there? We do, but we don't have any time left in this uh, episode. Thank boo. you for watching, oh. everybody. Thanks, everybody. That was some magic. I'm a magic man! Yep, magic men's right here. You saw it first. Oh, look at that. That clock's just ticking away. For God's sake, pause it or something. Jesus. Feel we gotta go! We gotta go, we gotta go. Hey, we gotta go.